Hill wanted to auto number his lighting pole tagging, but needed to only increment the middle number. So let's see how we can help our friend. Hello there, I'm Irving and welcome to another lazy question show where I pick your question to answer you live. So I wanted to understand our friend workflow, but it was hard because I didn't have his blog. So I asked him to send me his drawing and he did. So the first thing I did when I received his drawing was inspected it. For instance, I saw that he had some nice instructions over here. So the lighting pole number was the one in the middle, the 160, and that's the one that he needed to be auto updated. So then I found his blog over here that he was using with a MTEX. So now that I understood kind of what his workflow was because I could immediately see that the middle number 160, 161, 162 and so on was the one that he needed to be increment. So then I proceeded to copy one of his text and using the control shift X shortcut to cut it from the middle or from the center point of his block. So that way when I open his block on the block editor, I could go ahead and paste it with control V. So over here, I simply inserted it on the center point again, because again, I was trying to respect how he had this layout right on his block. So over here, I needed first to introduce a attribute definition because in order to auto number this block when inserted it, we needed more than a simple text. We needed a smart text, in this case, an attribute. So the way I did it was using the ATT shortcut, like so, and starting populating some of his information. Again, this was all up to our friend Sahil, but the number I set it to one, like so. So for the text justification, this was important because I wanted it to place this on the middle of these two text. So then the, the options that I picked was center and middle center. So for the text height, I needed to match his text size and I knew it was two inches. So that's what I picked, two inches and simply click OK. So this time what I did is simply removed the middle number and give it some space like so. So his number could fit in the center. So that's what I did and simply go ahead and close the blog editor. And of course I did save the changes. In order to this blog to update, I saw that he kind of rotated it. So I went ahead and went to my properties and simply fixed that rotation to avoid any problems. And also this probably was mirrored for some reason. So I, I fixed that with the mirror command like so. So that was his block. Now the thing is that I couldn't see the attribute definition. Well, to fix that, I use the ATT sync command. So that way I could select his new block and simply say yes to kind of refresh that. So at this point, I needed to somehow create a command to auto number this block with the attribute. So we, I remember that we created that command here on the channel and I didn't want to waste time recreating this command. So all I did was went to my Patreon account and went to my AutoCAD macros and I found it over here. So all I did then is simply copy and paste the macro code so that way I could simplify my life and went ahead and went back to AutoCAD to create this command. So the way I created it was using the tool palette with control three. And I could drag here anything to the tool palette. For instance, this text and drag and drop it to the tool palette like so. And that way I could change some of its properties by right clicking on it. And this way I could go ahead and paste the code that I just copied. So over here, the thing that I needed to change was of course the block name. So I needed to know that information. So what I did is go ahead and 
select the hills block and go to the property to double check that and i think the block name was called 4m po with spaces over there so then i proceeded to add that on my code so that's what i did I remove or change this information for the block name 4m po now since my friend was using spaces to name his block and macro codes don't like to have spaces because it can read it as a enter on your keyboard so i needed to somehow use these quotes for his block name so that way i could avoid some problems right so then i continue and press ok and that way i could go ahead and test the new command for our friend sahil by clicking on it and it wasn't working as you can see it's not working so let's move with rachel a recommendation about imperial and metrics so what i'm gonna do then is go ahead and copy this over here on the side and explode this so let's do it differently so that way I don't start with his existing block but I'm going to start fresh. So I'm going to simply select um, all of his geometry and create a block using the B shortcut. I'm going to call this for pole like so uh, using the underscore that would be our block and then I'm going to click OK. So for the insertion point I'm going to select this center of the block and then i'm gonna start adding an attribute so at this point what we can do is simply go ahead and and close the block editor and save the changes for our 4m poll remember with the underscores but we have a problem over here because we cannot see the attribute so let's use the ATD sync to kind of sync our new block with the attribute and let's select our block and say yes All right so let's implement the name to our macro code and let's see if hopefully it will work so for Empole, our new block, it's called for Empole, but with the underscores. So let's quickly accept that and say, okay, and will this command work? So let's see. <laughs> let's click on it. And we have 10, 11, and it's kind of working, but we need a final extra step here. And if we carefully go and read some of the instructions over here from our pattern post, by the way, if you are a supporter, you can access all of our codes to simply copy and paste. There is a note here that says, of course, replace the, no the block name, but also use the usury one system variable to set a starting number at any moment. So that's what we need because again, we are starting from a random number over here and that's not what we want. Our friend, usually I can see that starts from a hundred number and all the way up. So let's try that. User one and let's set it to, of course, this depends on our friend, but for this specific example, I'm going to say a hundred and let's quickly test it now. Let's click on it. Mm -hmm. 